Hola. All right. First concept. Mm. I want to do some realistic Pokemans. Mm. I think an easy first one would be a Squirtle. What do we got here? Ooh. For alligator would be pretty sick as well. Again, none of these are my concepts. That's pretty obvious. <sighs> Blastoise. Okay, that's pretty sick. I like that a lot. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. That's terrifying. I don't even know what this Pokemon is. New, new gen? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's adorable. I might do this one. Just so you, I'm gonna do probably a two hour speed go two hour sculpt. Try it out. Okay, so this will be my reference image. things first I like to start with a base sphere it's fine it's just easier also my sea brush has been acting up so quick saving very often if you notice that oh my god <laughs> I already freaked it up Okay, let's try that again. Very, of course, childlike features. Where's the younger Pokemon? <coughs> Includes big head. There's a skinny body. It's 
kind of blocking out the uh, the main forms right now. Some people like to use uh, the dinospheres. I prefer doing more of a pull out and move tool. Also a bit of inflate tool as well. It's all preference, it's a, I guess. Nothing is right, nothing's wrong. Okay, he's got a little, his arms look almost. Total body shape should make it's almost getting skinnier and then getting fatter at the ends. So this head kind of stops right here. It's bigger and I take it to the tail. Of course, tail is thicker as they go. I bet that was good to hear. Okay. I do like, I can use his eyes actually as reference. I think like a big part of, of the face itself. It's always dynameshing, especially in the, during the early blocking stages. <laughs> he looks so derp. I love it. So, looking at the reference. Looking at the reference here. Next skinnier. It goes very strong across here. Quick save. I kind of almost wanted to start doing these and seeing if people can figure out who I'm doing. The Pictionary type. Because personally I would not have any idea at this point. Especially the fact that he is a realistic, realistic Pokemon. Look at this. Yes, maybe much skinnier. Okay. Again, I'm just using one reference picture for this. So I'm kind of making up details myself. But I will need to start going through some anatomy features. Um, because even with something that isn't real, Still have the same features of the same use anatomy as if it was something that we would see in our day to day. Also, I'm gonna crack 
crank and stuff like that. Yeah, it should be fine. You really don't want to start too high until you have all the base into it, but on certain brushes like the damn standard, you can almost crank that up as long as you have a wide enough focal point, focal shift. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, for when those legs would not hold him up. Oops. So we're gonna scale those up a bit. Now. Come on, baby. Now there's just ah. oops. Hello, little one. Everyone should work on their art. Oh. She jumped in the bed. Everyone needs a pet when they're doing art at home. Preferably one that doesn't jump on the keyboard or tear down your soundproofing, but a cuddly one. Do I have time to match the lab? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So it's a lizard, so it definitely has a stronger midsection. I'm not sure the actual terminology for these. Think of crocodiles, you think of lizards in general. They typically have this almost line coming down here. Let's see if we get some lizard reference. Lizard anatomy. Not quite lizard. Still some features, like the uh, the jaw muscle. It's a big one on my star. Actually, with a bit of that, get that out of the way. This reference is more of a cute one. I kind of want to make a little scurry. Stay on, please. Oh. Okay, this is mostly going to cover over when I dynamish again, but it's kind of nice to have. I 
ask to uh, bend. I'm gonna make some eyes for him. That's what I'm talking about. Keep closing down on me. Keeps doing this. <clears throat> it's I don't know. Anyways, for those who are unsure, this is the reference, and it is by this man, Sergio Palomino. That's a great reference. Um, you can really see he's using the uh, lizard features, which is something I'm going for. These little fans, it's something I'm, I'm thinking almost like a platypus, and like those little defeats on them, like of more dragon type. Okay. Oh my god, it didn't, it, no, it went back further. Let me see. I'm gonna have to check something out. Again, I keep that up there so you guys can look at it. There's nothing more frustrating. Let's see this. Ah, God. Yeah, it ruined it. Okay. We live and learn. Quick save more often. Cats, stop. Okay. Damn it. Why are you not showing me things? Why are you in a bra in a box? All right, let's try this again. Juan. Why? And <laughs> this is why you quick save. We should keep this behind. see through what? nice much better actually okay let's remember to quick save this time The hot key for quick saving. I actually don't know. It's getting longer till this time. Okay, looking at body proportions. His head slightly smaller. This is supposed to be a two hour, but I actually might. I'm trying to get into this. I might stay a little longer. That is terrifying. Didn't help. <laughs> All right, that's better. Yeah, 
Yeah, the worst thing about Dynamesh, not worst thing, sorry. It's how it's made. Uh, if they're not, if they're too far apart, or too close together, sorry, it'll merge together. As we notice, a key. Let's push this back in slightly. Looking more like bird type features than he is actually lizard type features, but again, you know, they ancestrally are very similar. For God's sake, people quick save. All right. Do you notice that his oh, no. oh that's P. His mouth goes all the way across his face. It's kinda cute. Okay. Something like that. Okay, probably shouldn't get that much into details. But we're gonna keep quick saving. I'm gonna say about here would be the start of the arm and his leg actually comes out so probably around right here all right so i'm gonna start move tooling move this out first looks kind of like a scorched chicken again cute as fuck little nubbins again this isn't probably there's good and bad workflows I'm not sure what this would be considered but it's how I like to work. And if it's what makes me work faster, then again, I think it's the better way. If you don't like, if you would rather use dinospheres, okay, go ahead. The world is your oyster. to work on his <laughs> guy needs to go to the gym she looks like you kind of go to the gym get that breast that big chest piece okay i do notice he has a big lower region so I'm going to pop this a bit. Okay, now to make his arm slightly bigger as well. Keep noticing here again this is something i did before but they always have this kind of it's like you can follow their stomach
it's more of a humanistic shoulder. We don't want that. Oh my god. Okay. This might get annoying to the point I can't do it. Okay, something's going wrong. You're not quick saving to the right spot. Okay, I need to figure this out. Recent. Quick save. Oh my god, there's a quick save section I forgot about. There's a folder for quick saves. <laughs> what was I doing? Okay. So, again, quick save your work. His cheeks are where his head pops out. Yes, I know, Rocco. Ooh, I like that cheek. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, the cranium will go probably around here. This so next should probably walk back. What, honey? What do you want? I like that little neck. I'm gonna push it up here because again, he would have esophagus to swallow. So add that in. Especially if he's gonna be breathing uh, Charmander fire. I'm not liking these legs. What are you doing? Cats. <laughs> Be good. Be good. Be good. See me out. Body structure here, he would again his feet were gonna have to be gotta think of waiting. Oh my god, I'm totally stretching this out. But that's why you really have to think of the waiting beforehand. So we see there's down, up, down. Down.
Okay, not done much for me. Let's go. Let's go change the resolution. That's better. Oh, let's put. No, that's good. I have a feeling it's gonna stop saving soon. I want this to be more. Prominent. Look here is a very sharp. It flaps out. Flaps. That little flap. Kittens, I will. Okay, so we have the strange bird, but does does like a almost like a child's arm that has like the fat. Let's see if the kids little the chubby arms around the wrists. So it'll be similar here. The little savey poo. Okay, we need some. Get in. It's for placement. Let's get some transparency. Okay, so I can almost see how his eye. You're actually seeing the full size of the eye. So I'm gonna compare that to his. Oh, that's really big. Okay, let's see over here. So I use this as reference. this deformation we're gonna want the other side exactly so let's mirror that quick save because it's going to die soon yes love back on well. now that we have some eyes let's get some transparency as well Thank you. 
There we go. It's kind of like DuckTales. Cranial features. <sighs> Looking down here across. Just not sure why they would be there. So those two, there, it goes almost up to his cheekbone. There's this. So, what I wasn't using before with quick save. <laughs> 3, 24. There, I think I got everything. Oh. No more dragon, a little less ducky. Even though I think ducky was an inspiration for this. This is very thin on him. There's some inflation here. It's more for the fire to project. Oh, that's what we did before, too, as well. So, I do notice I feel like there should be a, a line almost going down here. If you look at other lizard, lizard stomachs, I'm just gonna get a reference here. See, even within the lizards themselves, they have different types of stomachs. I just don't know which one this would be more like. Definitely a skinnier type of lizard. Hmm. Ugh. Insides of a lizard. Not what I wanted. I can use this as a reference. Open image and tab. Okay, that's just random things I find in the internet. Okay. 
Okay, bei der Ruf Püfen. Das ist ein Ruf Püfen, you good. Okay, so this you can see is almost. Okay, this is more of a dragon type, but if you look at the stomach, it does round out. Let's see through. Looking at the outlines here. Big chested where his fire would come out. But yeah, he does have more of a hump down here. I did notice this as well. So like almost around this area where his shoulder blades, which would make sense. So he would need some sort of shoulder. This area needs to be a little more. I feel like it actually protrudes past, like the legs don't actually go and on the bottom there around. It goes underneath. Definitely not this. See the flatness. Terrifying with the teeth, though. We use another chalk. No, skin check. Ah, oh, guys, just look terrifying. He looked something that you would like the cute things from uh, Jurassic Park that would <laughs> come in huge groups. And you're like, oh, they're really cute, and all of a sudden he's on you. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I can kind of see uh, the well, of course, you know, the. Pokemon don't exist, but dinosaurs did exist. So it's almost like the Char Charmanders are, are those dinosaurs. God, these legs are too small though. Let's do a scale. Maybe a uh, Charmander baby had a baby. It does look terrifying, doesn't it? I think it's the, it's the teeth, the lack of teeth. 
So just throwing some teeth in there just to see if it uh, makes it a little less creepy. Ah. Why? Get up. Also, that is. <laughs> I'm not sure as the baby. The lizard kind of looks like he's posing. Now my zebra shuts down now and then I, I don't know what something to do with the install I need to fix that All right, but it's gotten me a good habit of saving which is great Ah shit Also, one thing people don't recommend, which I do either way, is um, painting. I find if you start painting early on, start to get the feel for it. Oh shit. Okay, let's do this. Actually, I can move the reference over for this. So I can keep the colors. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, so the reference I'm using is a, uh, it's a guy made, is a guy in Art Station. I found a few of them. They're, real, they're realistic type Pokemon. So this is Charmander. Um, and they take these Pokemon and, uh, they kind of make like let's just say if Dark Souls had Pokemon, uh, so it's really good to get. I was kind of bringing back childhood, but also um, uh, more realistic type thing. So I've done a few of this stuff in the past. Uh, nothing on here actually. It's first time doing a Twitch stream of this, but it's nice. Uh, yeah, let's get this here. But it's kind of cool. I like. I'm more of a Dark Souls type person as well. Um, let's get some darkness in here. I really like the realistic Pokemon. Like if they were actually in the world. Did you hear about the uh, new movie coming out? With what was it? Po Pikachu Detective, I think it was. Make a night, I'm done with that. I might start doing, this is just gonna be a quick something to do, but I'm always looking for something to do on the side, a, f a long project. I think a night would be actually pretty awesome. All right, let's get these eyes looking less creepy as well. If that's possible. Let's see, we got Um, let's make this, it's kind of need to see the reference. Yeah, uh, since the Pokemon Pikachu, or uh, Detective Pikachu, uh, it's kind of, it'd be kind of cool to, let's see if we get this in corner here. Uh, What is this? Why 
I doing? To the body or to the eyes? The touch of white. see both these together so I can actually just hide the body quick save because it's being a pain in the ass all right this is where the mouse comes in Much. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, he looks derpy. Alright, <laughs> see ya. They should, they should stop by. What I should have done was um, layers. Did not do that. That's my child. No, no, no.
Okay. Emerging me. Are you not? <laughs> wow. Okay, I can't use this. Actually, pretty good with the eye patch right now. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to duplicate and deform and miroir. Okay. Again, it's not perfect, but it's a start. Let's need some details in here. these fingers. Am I? Let's probably turn this off. Oops. Okay. It's looking very posh right now. I like it. Also, if I don't finish on stream, it doesn't mean I'm not going to finish it. So if, any, if anything catches people eye, people's eye, either this guy or another guy, just let me know. You know where to find me. So currently my ZBrush has this thing where it says the setup was done wrong. So I'm gonna have to go through one day and fix that. Until then, I will be quick saving like there is no tomorrow. I was so droopy as ever. <laughs> Whoa. I know his legs are wrong, I just don't know how to fix them right now. Hear that? He's more oomph. And to those just watching, this is my reference. It is from Art Station. Oh. Put his name in as well. Guy deserves some props. So I'm using this guy. Oh shit. Just a random reference I found on the internet. So not exactly planned out too much. I'd rather just kind of go with the flow.
Okay, one thing now I'm noticing. In the reference, there's loops, which is not normal to anatomy, but I prefer to go through reference than too much anatomy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's almost very rounded. Get your little toes out there. Serve. I don't know if amphibian feet have souls like this. I'm assuming they would, but they'd have. Oh, I think it's more of a uh, triangle. For these two, there's gonna be three toesies it's here, and then there's usually one in the back. I could see his feet in this. Oh, we can go through it without it. Oops. Now, oh, there we go. So knowing your hotkeys is essential for a speedy process. Oh my god, these eyes are terrifying. The blackness. Okay, let's put just a little tad bit of white so he doesn't look too creepy. Which one is it? Do you notice his mouth? Quick save is far too dark right now. So we're gonna color pick this. Oh my god, we're color picking this. J, C, there we go. Be slightly more red. Oh, he does have little teeth, doesn't he? Again, I'm not saying any of this um, texture is going to stay, but it's good. I find it's good just to. I don't even know the word for it. Not as reference, but it's. It's one thing to get a face shape, and then once the texture is in there, being like, oh wow, I wish I did this with the face shape instead, because it's. Lost words. Anyways, that's. I always do that. So let's go back to here, play paint. Let's go to something a little. So we're gonna make his. Well, after I. We're gonna make his little nails. Those are words. Did I put that too much? I put that far too much. How many are we at now? 
far too much. Okay. Let's still do. Uh, let's see when I blew her up. Stop. That's good. No more detail, not too much detail. So I kind of make these as uh, reference points for where I'm going to put in the other pieces. So actually, let's get this a little more higher. There we go. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to want the claws to be around here. Now, with the power of subtool, we can extract. No. Not like this. A little less thick. Um. This should be good. We can work off that. Maybe a little thicker, actually. Not that thick. Yeah, let's do that. Except, now we can use what we just made for... Good. Oh, it's not out now, are you? Save is about to die soon. I can feel it. Also, your dynamesh is going to be brought down for now. Let's get the transparency off. And considering that you are feet, you never want to use pure white. Oh shit, that didn't look up here. Probably dynamish that out. Mm, let's just do this.
Okay. You know the drill? <sighs> Damn it. Actually, I'm gonna go back to before we did that. Excellent. This was before they were Juan. Let's see if we can perfect. Okay, now we can dynamash that a little bigger. Let me see. Geometry Dynamesh. Um, let's go to 56. No, maybe a little more. No, maybe a tad bit more. Oh, it's going for smaller. So those new, this is the reference we're using. Just have very flat feet. Very flat feet. Oh my gosh, it's not. I can't work. There's nothing worse than working on something for a long time and then realizing it's not mirrored. Not that you'd have to do the other side, but let's just say you're working on this, the main body, and it wasn't mirrored. <laughs> that derpy face. Now, feet are never perfectly symmetrical this way, or perfectly aligned, sorry. So what I might do, let's break these pieces up. Um, so to, actually what I'm first gonna do is just get rid of these. Get rid of symmetry. This is when you would get some rid of symmetry. Split. Um. Split masked. Split masked. So now they are separate. Separate entities. Okay, just so don't freak this up. I'm going to get rid of this. Of course, you can just duplicate this afterwards. Mirror it. Where this whole thing is mirrored, it should be fine. Let's go back to this. Now, now that we're going to split that, we're going to split these up. Solo this. Split mast. We do split mast. And then again, split masked. So now, we work on them. Git. Git. We can work on everything separately. So we're probably going to start one of these ones first because they were 
not done, but they're a lot more done than that one. But yeah, like I was saying, it's gonna need to be uh, rotating my all the way up. It's gonna need to have some sort of swing to it. And bam. Okay, there's gotta be a way to make this so it goes to the new pieces without having to, but anyways. Bam. Because if you only have these feet and these feet, if it was flat and flat, you would just go back and forth. So then you'd have some support, support to the side. Oh my God. I'm gonna figure this out for next time. Damn it. Oh no, I didn't save any of that. <sighs> oh my god, we're so far back. Okay, I'm just gonna do this from here. I need to do a little catch up here. Okay, let's do solo. Take off the symmetry, split, split mass points. I actually did this purposely just in case you weren't watching and you want to know what I did. It's actually what I did. Okay. Now, maybe we break these down slightly more before we. Easier. There we go. Yep, we're gonna split mass point. Split mass point. Split mass points. And then quick save. Quick save here, actually. Start with a little nubbin. <laughs> All right, nubbin created. And get another nubbin. Actually, I'm just gonna work on one of these. Certain times a factor. Delete. I can work on one, use that one across. Actually, it's more flat on the bottom. So I'm trimming 
I'm just moving. Trimming. I'm just moving. Haha, <laughs> there we go. And just moving. Okay. Nice. Quick save that. Don't destroy. Thank you. Now, if you ask me, that's. Slightly too small. So, let's make this. Oh my god, that big? Yeah, let's do that. A little smaller. Okay, now if we're happy with that, let's duplicate. Move. No. Oh. No, no. Oh, we're good. No, we're good. Show as well. Again, this is what I was talking about before. I think the the triangle almost. Not triangle. The yeah, I guess you can make a triangle if you. Let's duplicate this one. This one. There. Now I am having a change the feet slightly for example his feet are flat I remember that from the games too it looked weird but that's how it is why are you lagging Flat. So she turned these. They're looking very. They're almost pointed out. He has them flat to the ground. Like this. I think so. Please, quick save. Thank you. Alright, now I'm gonna actually go through a bit of the main body. So, of course, for every nail, there's a toe. What? Small victories of quick saving every time they're working. It's kind of sad. See, I'm more of a instead of having the blockouts, I like to almost do the way you would with normal clay and kind of work my way, or almost more of a um, uh, sculpting with like stone. Where you you kind of. You have the block and you need to work out what you want. It's, it's in there. I remember hearing the artist talk about how the piece was always there, I just had to get it out. Which is kind of cool. So I kind of like to work more inwards than outwards. But again, you need to kind of do both. 
here, of course. I don't care if it's like his feet flat or not. I'm giving him some soul. Some soul, brother. Looking good there, but it's just too thick. Realizing they wouldn't have sold this like this, they would have this piece. Quick save, please. Thank you. Okay. Now let's go back to this. Let's take one of these. Duplicate. I'm gonna use this for the back one. You know what? Not be stupid here. Let's use the middle one. <laughs> no point of trying to move something that's already been rotated. Okay, now let's. I think too, if he's going to be this way, I must have the. The feet pointed slightly inwards for balance. There we go. Like this. Nice. Now let's get a little bit of a the foot. Oh, B I N. Again, the tenant going down, but you also want to push in for the tenants. Make that shit pop. Okay, so here's where we're gonna go a little bit off. We need a hinge. So let's go for a couple here. Seems so right. Then maybe you work your way up and quick save can I screw up. Yep. <sighs> I have a ZBrush crash counter. I think that's gonna be it. Yep. <sighs> come on, ZBrush. Please come back to me. Frustrations are real. Are real. But we shall say it at a good time. I don't think we lost much. Just the heel. It's okay. That's no big deal. If that worse. Okay, so what we're doing again is. Building back up the foot. Push this out a bit. And smooth it out. And we're going to want to have some sort of 
hinge. So let's put that there. Now push the legs in slightly for more more depth. So I feel like you would have another bone here, up here if he was... Mm. It's one of those situations where you don't want to go too far off the reference, but I feel like the reference is a little less humanistic, not humanistic, realistic. Or there would be some sort of pivot. Let's give, yeah, let's give him a bit of a knee. Take a knee, boy. I said, I said, take a knee. Okay, let's push this out. Push this in, push this out, push this out. Now, um, this area, I have no idea. I'm lost. Get a little bit of a flap. A little flap on them. Look at that muscular leg. Okay, let's give this a little more knee. I'll work that way down. Okay. Damn. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Now, like I was saying before, I made a quick save to. Oh, I'm gonna delete this nubbin. These four I can merge now. So let's merge down. Always just merge down, merge down. Now we're gonna duplicate this. So what I'm doing now is pushing these to this foot. So I go to a deformation. Mirror, the boom. Twice the work half the time. Now, good luck with make, getting me to make fire. <laughs> but I will make his tail a bit skinnier. No, sir. I noticed with the uh, Amount of polys right now the move tool is being very it's taking a lot of energy out of my CPU. Okay, we're going to make a big long stretch going from here to here. Let's do a damn standard. And then for God's sake's work. Damn it! There's definitely a better way to do this, but that's no fun. Oh my God. Unsteady hands much. This is probably unnecessary detail right now, but I'm gonna throw some in here. Can influence other decisions.
of course. Now that I know there's a line going up there, it makes me think, well, is this part of his back pushed out? To hold his spinal cord. Ah, eh. or whatever spinal thing lizards have. baby toe arms <gasps> coffee oh shit I forgot the music I'm so sorry. I was actually watching uh, Mad Men for a bit. Which I only just started watching and I'm kind of surprised. You know what? He's a little cute character. Let's give him three fingers. fingers and almost looks like they could be but like claws but so I might do a little separation on top as well again this is just by using the uh, classic tools damn standard it's a damn standard tool And just chipping away like a piece of concrete or stone. Please. Ah. Oh, the struggle. I'm gonna probably do this for another 20 minutes and then probably go to start playing ZVTO games. Um, yeah, I just wanna kinda of see what I can do in two hours. From there, I'll probably take it and uh, if you wanna see more, maybe I'll do a little more to it. You know, I like to do everything from making games to playing games. Of course, creating characters is my favorite part of making games. Okay, we still have a bit of, a bit of something, something. Yes. Okay, what we got here? Up right here. I'm just gonna do this because I want to do this for a long time. <laughs> Actually, you're gonna add some details to the face. I feel like faces are one of the 
most essential pieces of an art piece. Go and then we're gonna go. Probably like this. There we go. And now we'll fix that afterwards, but first let's just get the shape. Use a nice inflate tool first. Actually, let's do a trim. Oh my god, completely different. <laughs> and far too strong. What about a polished brush? Brush. 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 Why are you painting? Get more of a trim, a little more uh, trim adaptive, a lot less intensity. So I want this more to be against the head and then this part be almost bulging. You know what? Let's do this. This is gonna work. Oops. Charmander. Um. the desired effect. How's this? Okay, for one, this is far too out, so I'm going to push this back in. And then these need to be popped in. Okay. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. See, so, like, if you notice here, there's not that much of an eyelid, it's almost bulging out. Baby back. Let's pull it. 
Okay, now we notice the eyes bulged, but not out. It's a very smooth eyelid as well, I noticed. But you see, it goes, it is a thick ridge. Similar to, yes, of course, other eyelids. But let's try the masking tool again. Masking what we don't want to poof and then poofing what we do want to poof there we go nice me gusta please quick save Okay, but just smooth in there. Maybe a little damn standard to add some oomph. Okay. Now I'm going to take away his derp. So his smog goes from an, about here. Do you know how we got these cars? Now what do we got here? Let's get this in there. Maybe a little thicker. I tick. All right. Okay. See a little bit of a See, his goes straight, but doing this with Dynamesh is going to be super difficult, so I'm going to have to wait till you start using the remesher. Unless, unless I don't do that. Okay, we're gonna push this up and maybe close it on itself. And the quick save. Yeah, that's cute.
It's almost time for my uh, quick save to stop working, which is good. Because I'm going to be stopping this in wheat or eight minutes. <laughs> God, it does look adorable, but something that would destroy you and your family. I don't want these little like chinny they almost like um scales on his lips. To find them and I'll push them together. Quick save, please work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why do you keep stop playing? Okay, stop. What is it? Mm, what did you say? I'm just gonna do some quick painting and then I'll probably be done with it. I'm not gonna go too much into it. Only a quick little. Quick little demo. Demo? I don't know what you would call it. Let's do some noise. Take off this. Add some paint. Actually, I like that a lot. Let's take this color. Two purple, two green. Oh, it takes the other color as well. Let's go with this with a darker orange. Who doesn't? Okay, well, fuck that. Let's go paint. Do a little spray. Do a little spray spray? It's okay. Some darkness down the sides. I 
figure out a quick save. Ah, okay, that's fine. We just started painting. No big loss. Let's give time to stretch. Okay, last bit of paint, I'm gonna stop this. Do a little freehand. I'm getting get a darker color, a little more red. There's a lot of reference for this one. Do this. Let's change these. There we go. Let's get some red going across the sides. It's more really the color of the sun itself, but I kind of want actually this. I feel like that's his, his undercoat, usually the typical color of your palms. For animals. Okay. Let's break to this color. Hmm. Let's make it more so the lighter colors are in the insides. Almost like his blood is it's a yellowish. Yeah. Again with the bottom as well. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now let's do the other side of it. Focus shift to the opposite.
Okay. Why is this not? There's something off about this. Just can't tell what it is. This? I think just this pressure too far out. size are so bad oh well. okay you know what this was a two hour with a lot of mess ups yeah okay so to anyone watching this is it for now and um yeah maybe do more pokemon maybe do some more i think from now on i might find something that i want to do long term instead of just a two hour um let me see if i can find something that i've worked on before as well perfect timing for it to die as well second okay let's try this instead Break. Let's look this. Oh, I guess I can show this as well. You know what? Okay, save it for next time. Peace. And uh, again, if you enjoyed, uh, if you enjoyed it, and you want to see something, or if you suggested something that you wanted me to try making, try. I mean, to make. Uh, follow next time I come up. Just let me know, and I'll try to get it for next time. Uh, thank you. <laughs>